This is the mini lovery between you and the person that is on your mind this time. What is your energy? Okay. Strength. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. So this uh, is interesting connection. What is his energy? What is your other person's energy? Ooh. Okay. As you can see with these two cards so far, there is um, an instant physical attraction. You have strength, which signifies uh, feminine power, femininity to its finest, um, knowing how to tame the beast with her soft feminine ways. Um, it's something that can tame the king of the jungle. Um, you use counter forcing, counter forces to like a yin yang, you know, um, energy with someone else to subdue them. You don't fight fire with fire. Fight fire with water. And that's what you are. And that's what the lion is, is fire. Um, you might be dealing with a Leo. If not, it's just about Leo energy as well. It's just about leadership. Um, energy, excuse me. Um, the Princess of Wands is saying that he is, he or she, this person here that you're thinking of is in their head about you. You can see that she has a crystal coming out of her third eye. Her head is tilted back. She's kind of like in the throes, as you can say, throes of passion. Um, there's also kind of like a tiger -y lion energy coming out of her hair. So there's a lot of physical attraction with you two. Um, that is being shown here for sure. Um, you might be very different from each other with the strength card. It, it also could mean very, you know, um, everyone's on a spectrum of femininity and masculinity. I mean, you embody both, but we're all on a scale and this might mean um, polar opposites, like a very feminine person and a very masculine person. Take it as you wish. Princess of Wands is looking at you they like what they see with you. Um, I'll elaborate a little bit more here. So what's up with your strength card? You're seeing your person this way. Maybe this person is a leader. You definitely want to make some sort of flirt in their direction with the Page of Cups. Um, you're willing to put in your two cents, let's say, with this person. Um, are you flirting with them at this time? Are you offering them something? Um, are you letting them know that you're interested? Five of Wands pops out. Maybe you're not because there might be some fighting involved here. Competition, obviously. You probably think that there's competition for this person. If you're looking at them, you know, like a strength, strength card, maybe you look at them as a very powerful entity. Um, you make a good match with them because you know how to counter, you know, you counteract what they don't have. Um, and there's also a lot of people here that are uh, interested in this person as well. There's a lot of activity around this person. Um, you know, lions like to have multiple mates. Leos like to have multiple mates, um, especially with the males. Um, there might be something regarding something like that. Um, maybe that's why you're kind of more in a page of cups energy where you just don't want to invest too much. Just kind of like feel in and out kind of very lightly. 
life card pops out. Um, something is changing here. Something has changed. Something has ended abruptly for you. Um, you might have gotten out of your own relationship. This person is, maybe you're thinking they're getting out of a relationship or they, it just happened, something, something recent. Ace of Swords. The death on the Ace of Swords is giving me an energy of something abruptly ended for you. Um, but the hard times are over. It's kind of like, you know, the death card is kind of just waving its flag like, yeah, 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 new times um, are here for you. The Ace of Swords is kind of like a new mindset on, on maybe your old ways or just a new mindset on how you think about this person. Maybe you've changed your mind about this person recently. Maybe you're looking at the competition and you're changing your mind. Or you're kind of going forward with your little flirt anyway um, because you're thinking, why not? You know, there's some sort of change um, in, in outlook that you're, you're seeing here with this person that is giving you maybe more, um, maybe it's giving you more wanting to kind of move forward. You're kind of just like, fuck it, I'm going to go for it. Um, I've changed my mind drastically about this person. Um, something else? The Eight of Pentacles pops out and also the Sun, so I'll go read the both. But um, I think you're kind of like, you're looking at this problem. We have the Sun and Strength. That's a lot of fiery energy. But you're kind of like, you know, you're stacking your pentacles. You're doing what you have to do in life. You're not letting it get yourself get too involved um, with this person you know you're kind of doing your own thing um, that's why it's kind of just like a little page here that's just kind of hanging out he's not really getting too deep to you know too fast in a sense page is just kind of like flirty energy to me it could be very immature uh, it could be someone that's younger than you um, but it's nothing that serious but you've had some sort of change in mind about this person recently. Okay. Anything else that you're thinking about them? Six of Cups. So you really like this person though. Um, the Six of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun. This is a lot of really lovey, lovey energy, like you definitely love them more than let on, lovers at the bottom of the deck, um, you definitely want to share a lot more than what you're leading on with this person, with the page, like you are in this six of cups energy, you know, but at the same time, you're just showing a page, you know, you're kind of just like, yeah. I'm just gonna take it easy here and just show one cup at a time, you know, but in reality you're looking at them like that, like you wanna, you know, the Six of Cups is really wanting to share your life with someone, especially with the Sun card here and Strength, too, together, that's interesting um, energy, like you have a lot of strong feelings for this person, more than you're telling them, but there's been some sort of depth in how you think about them changed your mind with the ace of swords and death together um maybe you're deciding to go forward amongst the competition here um or maybe you're going forward even if you think that it might bring up some issues with other people you see them as like the sun though like this person is your son um and your heart and someone that you want to share with um, that's decided for you. It's just whether or not you're going to show it all or tell it all. Anything else? Okay. 
page of wands yeah just a little tiptoes here we got the page of wands and the page of cups so it's like i'll do a little flirt i'll tell him something sweet just a little bit at a time you know nothing too too much too soon kind of feeling um you're not really in that energy of wanting to go all in too fast which is smart and the magician pop out together so I think you're trying to manifest this person though you have the magician the sun the six of cups that's just you know a lot of manifesting love right there right you look at this person like you could see home life with them and with the nine of wands and also the eight of pentacles it's giving me like a lot of like I've done a lot of work I want to work together with someone now. I know that two people are better than one when they work well together and you're trying to figure out how this person can fit into your life. You know, how they, how you both can kind of improve together. Something is drastically changing the way you think about how to go forward with this person or maybe you had some sort of, you know, idea of what this person was like and then you kind of changed your mind after knowing some sort of truth here but you know a good catch always has other people wanting to kind of get involved you know um so you have to expect that there's like going to be other people swarming this person's energy because he is the king of the jungle here um, anything else of how you feel about this person Swords, so like you're just kind of, you know, it's giving me like shaky energy with like all the pages and the four swords. You're kind of just, you're being really careful. You're being really careful about going forward with this person. You've been shut out in the cold. Um, you don't want it to happen again. It's cold, you know, in the winter, especially with no shoes and no love. And you don't want that happening again this time around. So you're going very slow with page energy. Seven of Swords. You know, you're kind of just learning from the past and taking what you learned and moving forward. Um, you've definitely been hurt in the past by people. Um, this could mean the same people here you know that you've been fighting with or just new people that might come in and want to fight you for this person's attention um but you're learning who to kind of filter out in your life and who not sometimes you gotta let people go because they're just not good for you and you know it um so a lot of people hold on to friends because they just know they just know of them long you know term but does that really count as a friendship, 13, 31 on the clock? You know, like, it's kind of more like, are you, would you still be friends with them again if you just met them now? Or is it just more of, like, a comfort zone? So I think you're just getting rid of people that you know are not good for you at this time and moving forward so you can get into your little sun strength energy with this person. This six of Cups, the sun, you know, getting everything that you want with this person. Um, kind of really manifesting what you want going forward and making sure that you're protected making sure you don't go all in too fast you know um it's just this is how you're feeling you feel like you're good this person is someone that you like strong strong energy some strength come on so um it's really hot in here <laughs> I'll, I'll say it like that you know um, but you're trying not to be stupid going forward. You might ha be very attracted to this person. Um, and there might be a lot of your dreams come true here. And someone that you definitely want to share your cups with. Six of cups. But you're also not being stupid here. You're going to kind of take it slow. And um, make sure that it's still good every step of the way. You know? Okay. So let's see what his 
or your person's energy is thinking about you. They kind of are thinking about you and this Princess of Wands. Anything else that they think about you with? Kind of a person is thinking about you. Mm. The Hierophants. They want to lock up. They want to lock you down. Um, possible marriage. Very attracted. Um, kind of want to take a step forward into um, making it official. The Hierophant is here to say, hey, this is official. This, this is my girl. This is my guy. And that's it. I don't want people even um, thinking that she is free. Okay, kind of feeling. Anything else about this person thinks of me? King of Swords and the Empress turnover. So this person is definitely considering you very hard. Look at this. I mean, the Empress here, you're sitting on your throne, you're really, you're in this Empress, Princess of Wands energy. It's some strong um, attraction energy that you're giving off. You're, you're really attracting a lot of people this time. Um, you're good looking. Um, you're successful, you're independent, you're strong, you're powerful, you're, you have a regal empress energy, you're respected, but you're also kind of in this princess of wands energy where you're kind of sexy, you know? You're young, flirt, and sexy, um, still. The Hierophant, they want to make something official with you in some sort of traditional means. It could be marriage, it could also just mean making it official in some sort of way. And the King of Swords is showing me that, you know, he's he's really thinking long and hard about what to do next. The King of Swords is very decided in his actions. He's um, not stupid, you know. Um, he definitely makes sure that he's making the right decision before he makes it. Um, but he's definitely considering you. I mean, he's in the King of Swords energy. Um, he's really thinking hard about this. About you... How else is this person thinking of you? King of Pentacles. I've got two kings. And they're, they, they think uh, great things about you, though. I think that they're thinking very positive things. We have the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords here to say that um, this person is successful. This person is smart. Quick witted knows how to manage money or makes good money or is very stable he's not wishy-washy he's stable in many different ways stable emotionally stable intellectually stable financially stable with your love this person wants to be um smart with who they choose, you know, you smart you have to choose wisely with who you decide to settle down with forever. And this person is definitely um looking at all the stops with you in this King of Pentacles energy. They think the world of you I think they're looking at you like you have the king of, they're looking at you as the Empress and the Princess of Wands with the Hierophant and the two kings. I think that's a pretty, that's a good, that's a good play on what they're thinking about you at this time. Anything about, anything else that I think about you? Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> they want you. <laughs> this Ace of Cups. They want some new love and they want you to, um, they want to share a new love with the Empress. We have a joyful energy between these two cards. You know, it's like, let me share something new with the Empress. It's like, more than willing to give this new, you know, chalice of love a try. Um, it's an offer with their hand completely open to new possibilities with this empress with you they're really digging you i'm gonna say that they're looking at you in a fantastic way um and they're 
also thinking about how they're going to lock it down. I keep hearing lock it, lock, lock. I don't know why. So, um, the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups. They want some, they definitely want to try something new with you, but they don't want to just try. They want it to already be confirmed. <laughs> uh, they're not messing around, coming from like a King of Swords and King of Pentacles space. Um, they're not um, doing something flippantly with you. Um, this is someone that's seriously considering you. They're not, um, you know, playing around with their emotions or any of that stuff. They're like, they're more. Um, they want their, you know, they have their throne, they're set up right, they want to finish their image of what their life should have, and that also includes you. Okay, yeah. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles popping up together. We got two aces, we got two kings, and the two of pentacles um, is about that yin and yang energy again. Um, like I was saying about the strength card, you and this person might be polar opposites of each other in some sort of energetic way. And it really works, and this person also um, acknowledges this with you. You also have the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. This is a new chance to create a whole new life together. Um, a new chance at love, a new chance of maybe making money, or just a new chance of stability. There's two hands offering you the world. Um, these two cards are very powerful in the sense it's like, here, do you want your future just to be exactly how you wish it to be? <sighs> Boy. The two of pentacles is saying they want to work with you. There could be some sort of you just work well together. You, you're going to work well together. Um, there's a great attraction here, but there's way more than that energetically between the two. Um, you have to let go of being scared. This 22, 22 on the clock. This person is just trying to figure out how to catch you and never release you. <laughs> um, they want to work with you and they also acknowledge the fact that you are both great together and they want to start something new two aces two kings like uh, and the empress with the hierophant um i think you can conclude that this person is into you and so i'll leave that there um one more card from the oracle to see if there's anything in that between you two that we, we need to know Rest your weary wings and replenish your energy for the flight ahead. So obviously you two, there's not, there's, there hasn't been any action between you two as of yet, but there will be very soon. It shows that the, um, this connection is undeniable. Um, it's something that you're both manifesting. It's something that you're both wanting. Um, I think you'll be able to come together and get over your own inner um, quirks or your own inner fears that you might have um just being with someone you know um you can kind of relax into knowing that you're gonna have the sun with this person this person is looking at you as um, someone that they could seriously consider long term um but for now before this energy collides between you and this person um just rest and know that your dreams will come true when they're ready